border and I don't even know what they're talking about. Oh, don't worry. Neither do they. <laughs> Could you explain it to me, please? Of course. Let me tell you a little story of the history of Anglo-Irish relations. Oh, I love stories. <laughs> okay. Um, a long time ago, the English and the Irish were Catholic, but then the English decided to become Protestant. Why? A man wanted a divorce. Mm. A divorce? Mm. Like Daddy did. Was that man also banging that whore from work? Kind of. He wanted to make the Irish people Protestant too, but the Irish weren't so keen, so the English killed lots of us. <gasps> so sorry. Then a few hundred years went by with the English stealing land. Oh, why can't everybody just share? Hmm. And then a really nasty thing happened called the Potato Famine. I love potatoes. <laughs> P-O-T-A-T-O-E-S. And it killed over a million Irish people. <sighs> anyway, then in 1916, Ireland revolted to win independence, except for six counties in the north that remained in the UK and became Northern Ireland. The problem is that until 20 years ago, there was a war between nationalists who wanted Ireland to remain one country and the unionists who wanted Northern Ireland to be part of the UK. And after quite a lot of dying, in 1997, everyone signed something called the Good Friday Agreement, which meant that they'd stop fighting and the North would remain in the UK. <laughs> I love Fridays. <clears throat> stop singing! <laughs> Thanks to the agreement, people from Northern Ireland and Ireland could move freely across the border and so could Irish goods. So what's the problem, Catherine? The problem, Derek, is Brexit. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I know what Brexit is. My mummy says it's about immigrants and leave means get the fuck out. <laughs> I'm an immigrant and your mom sounds like a c <laughs> <laughs> So you see, when the UK and Northern Ireland leave the European Union, the soft border which stopped the fighting will have to be made hard again. Huh? Derek, we're talking about the potential of a return to civil war. Oh, well, if you guys aren't willing to risk a teensy-weensy civil war, then uh, what can the UK do? There could be a solution like having a customs border in the Irish Sea instead. So everything's sorted. Well done, Great Britain. <laughs> Clean the violence mess yet again. Have you literally not listened to anything I've said? That solution won't work because whilst it's what Theresa May initially wanted, her disastrous decision to call an election in 2017 means she's fundamentally dependent on the Democratic Unionist Party for a parliamentary majority. Now the people in charge of the Irish border have never actually seen the Irish border and Boris Johnson compared Northern Ireland and Ireland to Camden and Islington and said we could just have some kind of congestion charge but then even that won't work. We haven't developed the technology which means it's all just one part of a big fucking Brexit fever dream. Everyone has decided we'll have a backstop instead which is an agreement not to agree anything until we can agree on what to agree. <laughs> Which is the only thing we could seem to agree on. <sighs> uh... Oh boy! Looks like explaining the Irish border issue has made Derek's brain explode. Bye, kids! <laughs>